Hey everybody, so I got a quick review to do on the Amaro um, Bluetooth um, retractable earbud um, headset that I got for review. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you there. Hey everybody, so these are the Amarno um, Bluetooth earbuds headset that I was um, I got for free to do a review and stuff on. Um, I am actually quite happy with them. They've lasted quite a long while on um, just daily use. I haven't charged them since I charged them up the first day. Um, you got a decent, I don't know what that is. Let me get a measuring tape. It is ten and three quarter inches long when you reach for, uh, when you extend them out. So it's plenty length, in my opinion, while it's around your neck. One thing I don't like about them is that they are quite large around my neck. So um, they have a tendon. the The band has a tendency to bounce. Um, if you're jogging or whatever, but I don't normally use them for jogging. I normally use them for walking. They have pretty good base. I've never had any issues with the retraction button. Other than sometimes it does that, but all in all, not really a huge deal. The on and off switch is right here. So it's easy to index what the on and off switch is and what the volume up and down is. It's a very generic. It's got a phone call button here for ending and, and starting calls. Volume down and up and then on off switch. Um, it's not a bad headset. I do like the bass that it gives. It gives pretty powerful bass for um, what it is. Um, it's got good treble and um, good mids and lows. Uh, I did a review on this already on Amazon. This is just going to be the video review. I went into a really in-depth review on Amazon. So if you want, I'll put a link to my... my uh, see if I can figure out how to put a link to my review on Amazon. If anybody uh, wants to know that or wants to go read that. Um... It's a great headset for sound. Um, certain things get lost if you're listening to something more extravagant like opera or you know orchestras. It, it gets a little blended and blurry and it's kind of hard to tell the differences between the highs and lows. But if you're listening to regular music, they do a great job. I'm impressed on how much bass they give out. Um, it does come with a little charging cable, which, you know, I use the one that's plugged into my wall that it, I use for charging other things. It does come with earpieces that I have not messed with. Um, I like the, the pieces it came with already installed. This is just a short little video. My thoughts for the, the price this is, and, you know, it does come with a nice case. Uh, is it is it worth buying and in my opinion I would say yeah it's it's worth all the money that they charge for it I think it's like 40 or 50 dollars I'm I could be wrong I, I might have to go look at it to make sure but I think it's around the 50 or 60 dollar mark it's it's not a bad headset um, it's definitely cheaper than the LG Tones, which are like $150, and they're pretty close to being similar to LG Tones. Um, that's what I'm going to compare them to. Um, all in all, though, I, I think they're worth uh, the price. 
I didn't pay for them, but I do think that they are worth the price. They were sent to me for review. Um, and um, we also got something else to show you guys, and I'll do that on another video. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links. Go down below and leave me your thoughts. You know, you guys have questions, ask me some questions. I'll see if I can answer them or I'll try to find a way to answer them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.